Hello, and welcome to the word for today. We've been going through this time together, looking at the 23rd Psalm, and today we find ourselves in verse three. Question, have you ever been in your house and didn't recognize there was a smell inside of there until you walked out to get the mail and you came back in and you're like, whoa, it stinks in here. Or have you ever had somebody kind of look at you and pull back because maybe your breath wasn't so good or maybe your armpits weren't so good. And, and you know, when you can do a couple different things to try to cover that up, you could try to spray some cologne or perfume, or you could spray some air freshener in the house, but really you need to get to the root of the problem. You need to take a shower to get the funk off or you need to look to see what has gone bad inside of the house and often there's garbage in the kitchen that went bad and you need to get that out so that the house can return to a good smell. You know, in the same way, when we look at this text today, we understand that God wants to do something in us. He wants us to have this freshness. Look, look at the word, it says, he restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. You know, another way of looking at this text and understanding what does that mean, it means that he refreshes our souls. I mean, he refreshes them. He doesn't want us to have this bad odor coming off of us. He doesn't want us to have this misery. He wants us to, to have this delight in this place that comes from verse 2, which was, laying down in cream pastures, resting in him. When we rest in him, when we drink from his water, when we drink from him, then we can be refreshed, our soul. And it's a, it's a good thing because you know what? Emotionally and physically, we can become beat up and exhausted. But God wants us to be fresh. He wants to refresh our soul and let everything come from that. When our soul is refreshed, then we can be led and we can be this great witness for him. We can walk in his righteousness. And God wants us to do that. So I want to encourage us. If you're frustrated today, go spend time with him so that you can be refreshed. If you're overwhelmed, get refreshed. If you're exhausted, get refreshed. If you're drained, if you're out of your wits in, get refreshed by spending time with the Lord. If you're discouraged or maybe if you're coming through a long season of long suffering, I want to encourage you to recognize that there's refreshment for your soul in the Lord. Let me pray. Lord, today we pray that you will refresh us, that we'll spend the time with you because Lord, there's a lot going on around us. Lord, we're seeing violence, we're seeing so many different things, Lord God, and it bothers us and it troubles our heart and sometimes we get inundated by watching the, the news coverage and it, and it hurts and it grieves us, Lord. We pray that today we can rest, take time to realign ourselves in you so that you can refresh us so that our response will be a godly response. Use us in that way today, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, listen, you may have some stuff on the inside of your heart that you might need to deal with, and you, may, and you, know, you might need to get that garbage out so that you can be fresh. Or maybe you need to get the funk off of you from spending so much time becoming inundated by watching the TV. Please do what you need to do so that you can spend the time with him lying down in the green pastures so that he can refresh your soul. And if you're thinking that everything is over, if you're getting discouraged, can I remind you of what Jesus said to Thomas? He said to them, why are you troubled? Why are you troubled? And why do you have doubts arising in your hearts? Look at me. Look at my hands. Look at my feet and see that I am he. Jesus wants us to look at him and be reminded that he is the one that went to the cross. And guess what? He's still alive. God bless you guys. Love you. Have a beautiful and blessed day.